welcome to another Relax and Paint. And today, uh, it's the holiday season for Easter. And I thought I'd come up with a cute little bunny that we can work with. And just a different way of doing it. Getting a little watercolor with a few pen and ink looks. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come around and get his head here. Okay, and a little nose right there. A little bit of a nose. All right, and ah, let's take that out. I want it to be a little bit of it that way. And we come in. Okay, so then let's make some ears. So the ears are going to kind of flop over here. I thought I could put this skin on a cute little frame or you could mod pause it on the something else if you would like to all right so see the ears okay let's come over here a little bit all right and so i'm gonna put um a fun little flower here let's get a little bit of a blossom here okay and then a couple of leaves. All right. And we can have a little blossom here. Okay. A little. All right. So we have a little blossoms there. The eye is going to be kind of right in here. Okay. A little eyebrow. Now I'm going to come right in here and make a paw. All right. So he has his little paw there. And we're going to come right up here and have another one here. You wouldn't see that one. But what's fun is that we can come all the way up here. And let's do a little bit of a blossom. Okay. And I'm going to do a butterfly. Okay, and then we're going to come right here, here, and back here. All right, and back here, we'll make another. And then I'm going to come right here. And, okay, so we have a butterfly there. I'm going to take it and get a little bit different there. Okay. And we're going to take and make his little tummy here. Come just like this. See the little belly? And we're going to come around here with his little bum. And his little tail here. Let's see what happens to here. A little paw in the back. And I have those three little paws on there too. And then we're going to do another one up here. And this one you want to see the underneath. You just see a little. Okay, he's kind of cute, right? All right. So what's going to happen is I'm going to come right in here and we can put some licorice. And we put his little eyebrow. And we're going to come up with a nose right here. There's a little teeny smile. All right. So now what looks really kind of cute? There's a couple things that are going to come in here. And we're going to make that pink and that pink and that pink. 
We got a little bit here. Okay, so we make this is with a identi pen, okay, guys. And so what's gonna happen? These we use for marking clothing. Like gym clothes and stuff. But what I want to show you is that I'm going to turn this around so I can work on this pad. Okay, I'm going to take and we are going to make really fuzzy wuzzy hair. Okay. This cute. All right. And we're gonna come all in here, right on that pencil line that we did. Right and right in here, smooth, with teeny little bits. All right, little fuzzy tummy. Now we're gonna just, after we outline this, we put a little watercolor effects in here. Okay, now let's we'll see. Let's try this other pen and see if it's a little bit better. Yeah, we got fresh again. So you take a break and go from pen to pen. Oh, uh, all right, so let's get a little fuzzy in here. A little bit here. It like really cute when we put in the the uh, color into the bunny. Okay. All right. So the flowers and all that we're going to do. We can come in here, and then we can make a little guys here. Now, the key is to get this watercolor look. We don't want a solid paint. We want to use a lot of floating medium, or you could use watercolor. But I'm using folk art multi-surface paint. Okay, and I want you to see I kind of pencil it. Then I can come in here and I can do all kinds of rolls on the leaves and get really nice tips. And you can always come back and erase on everything before you do it. There's going to be pink right in here before you color. Sometimes if you if you get the paint too solid. The pencil will show underneath. Uh, or transparent will show underneath. All right, so I'm going to make this stem right here. All right, so here's some leaves. All right, and then I'm some petals. It's really easy after you drawn it the first time but you can screenshot this and make a pattern out of it pretty easy okay it's kind of cute and fuzzy all right so the first thing i want to do is i have these little mop brush right here okay it's a new uh, set of brushes i did and we can use water but i'm going to get a little floating medium and let's get a little bit of this coffee latte and what's nice about the coffee latte 
is I use it for many things like beach sand. I use it in lots of landscapes. Now, see, it just gives you a little bit. See how I'm picking up? Okay, so I can do a little darker right here at the edge of the head. And so we want a watercolor, so we're just going to do a little bit heavier on the nose. Go around the eye. Okay, isn't that kind of cute? Now I can come in here with some white. Here, and a little bit of white in here. This is solid white paint I'm doing. Okay, a little bit in here. Okay, I can wipe, get a little bit more white. In here and around the eye. But it's black, so it's already good. All right, so let's put a little bit of white on the paws right here. A little bit in here, along the bottom, and a little bit on this edge. All right, and a little bit on the tail. Okay, now let's go the floating medium and back to the coffee latte. So we're going to come right in here. his little tummy and a little bit in here okay okay let's get it under there all right so a little medium A little bit in here and a little bit on his tail. Okay, so I think he's kind of watercolor look. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of white and get some yellow. We want heavier yellow right there, heavier yellow right there, right back there, and right back here. All right, so I can wash that off. Oops, I got purple by accident. Let's wipe this off, medium, and a little bit of white. So we can grab that into some of the yellow to get a really pretty soft color. Okay, well, we'll come back on that and put some little bit of inking back in here. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with, is this kind of fun? I'm coming in here with an A flat, and I'm going to get a little bit of pink with some white. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of pink, pink, right in here, pink. All right, so I'm going to come around here with a floating medium. Yeah, you're getting that watercolor effect. By using acrylics, watercolor it will re-wet, and we can't re-wet this, but it's still kind of fun. You just take and use that on, this is scrapbooking paper, white. All right, so now I'm going to get medium and come over here and get the magenta. That was magenta and white. Okay. 
Okay, so let's take it all in there. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I want to make a little bit of pink up here. Sorry. All righty. With a little bit of magenta. All right. A little bit of pink nose. Okay, and I'm going to dot the handle of this brush into yellow. Okay, so I need a smaller brush. Go for something smaller. To do floating medium and purple. Add a little bit of white to that. That's a little lavender. And it's kind of fun. So you can even take fun little color book art. Oops. I spread the yellow. I didn't want the yellow to smear. Okay. Let's put a little bit of white in here to take away that yellow I didn't mean to touch. There we go. All the way around. Okay, so we put some little purple in there. And I'm going to come out here with a little bit of darker purple. Just a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, so I wanted that a little bit darker purple. And then, and this kind of fun, it's just like a real relaxing painting. I think you'll, that you'll like it. We're going to put a little bit of white in the eye. A little white on top of the nose. A little bit of white, 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 white. Now let's take this one brush, and we don't have green. Need a little bit of green. So let's get some classic green. A little bit of classic green with some bright green. Okay. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and we'll paint together, create together. And, and come spend this 2024 with me learning how to do something you might not have known how to do before and see how good it feels to be creative. All right, so I'm going to come up with some green in here, some green in here. Okay, I'll show you all kinds of ways to work with gray paint. And I'm with a paint company. Plaid Enterprises, and they found me years over about 30 years ago just creating with my seven children and doing shows. And I was selling in a mail order catalog my paintware. 
and mailboxes, metal mailboxes. And, and then the paint company found me, which has been the rest of that story. Okay, so I'm going to come on the chisel, the tip of the brush. This is called multi-surface paint. It blends shade. I my technique blends shades and highlight in each stroke. But this paint, what's great about it is it's thick, full body filling, and it has rich colors that people think I'm using oils. How fun is that? All right. I just think you can make him sit up, lay down. Oh, guess what I forgot? His little pink ear. All right. This is something like I'd finish and go, uh-oh. I forgot about that. But I'm going to take, that's too much pain. I'm going to take and dab it. Just remember, we're going for a watercolor look, so if it gets too much, we can take some off. All right, so I'm going to come down in here. And make it a little fuller here. There you go. And she'd be cute. All right, so I'm going to get that dry. I'm going to put big white there. A couple of licorice dots up here. The butterfly, so you gotta you gotta put all kinds of little detail in there, and it's gotta be the same detail on both sides. All right, so I'm gonna come right in here and stand up and I was going to uh, come back in here and use identipen, but I am going to put a little bit of licorice here and there. His little paws. All right. And come around. There's lots of things you can do to get a different look on your bunny. This is a one script liner. I'm just showing you a little bit of detail that you can put on. And we put a little bit around the butterfly. A little bit around the flower. And I can come right in here. Right in here. And you don't want to touch this wet paint with the idea that pen has got to be totally dry. So we have a membership that you can join starting at $9.95 a month. And you can come and watch me create and you paint with me a multitude of different uh, items from glass to fabric to canvas to landscapes to animals. Uh, it's on a dry base for my, this is a heat tinge, like a heat gun, but it's a little bit more focused. Just trying to dry some of that. Focus where I want to come in here and put some detail. <laughs> Okay, you saw me kind of draw with a pencil. Then I came back with identipen. And we're going to come in here and just put a little bit of accent in there. Same thing here. But you'll wreck the pen if it's not dry. So I'm just coming right in here. Just darken it up a little bit. Okay, and there's my little guy here. And I am going to come in here 
Get another little brush. And let's put a little bit darker right here. Where you could roll the brush up for the tip here. All right. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun teaching you today. Please go subscribe to the Donna Dewberry channel and um, join our membership or my Patreon. Come to onestroke.com and check out any products that you would like. And I'll see you in later this week. Bye-bye. Relax and paint with Donna Dewberry. Thank mm -hmm. you.